Here I will show you uh, what are the files in the project and how to share them with others using project packager. So here you see um, the project we were been working on and if you want to see the files you click on the project and select explore. Here you see the files which are within the project and here you see the project PCB file where all the project settings are stored. Project PCB structure is the file con that contains the links to the other files included in the project. Then we have the schematics and the PCB. There is also a history folder in which you see a lot of zip files. These are the history files which are made each time you click save of any file. So if you, if you save the schematics, you will get a schematic zip file which includes the history, the last zip file you've been working on. And uh, by that you get the whole history of your design. And since we are used to save a lot uh, if Altium crashes, of course, then you have a lot of these history files which um, take quite large amount of space. So when you want to share the project with others, you usually just want to share the most essential files. And Project Packager can help you with that. So going to the Project Packager, you can select three options. Either you just want to share the project itself or the project and sub projects or the whole project group. In our case, we have two projects here in our project group, the my first project PCB and the general lib package. Continuing, if I just want to share the project itself, here Altium recommends a nice name with date and time. Here you can select the relative path to the parent directory, not the whole path. And um, you can include files, the, uh, the generated output files, which are usually for manufacturing if you want. Or here you can also include additional items like history and so on, which usually you don't need to. Next, these are the files which will be included in the project packager. Next and finish. So now what does the project packager generate? Is this zip file and here you see four files. Great. Now if you want to add the library, well of course you can but there are two ways. Either you share the whole project by adding um, the whole project in the project packager. So going to project, project packager and selecting package project group. Now these two projects will be generated. Next, next, and here you see the whole content. However, you have to be careful because the project is stored somewhere else than the libraries. So if I click next now, the zip file will be generated, but it will contain, as you will quickly see, two folders. One is for the uh, libraries and the other for project with the whole path towards the project. See here. This can be quite awkward and to avoid that you should have library saved in the same folder as the project. The third option is that you add the necessary library you want to share in the same project you're working on. You can do that by clicking here and you select file based library preferences and instead of installing the library here in the installed tab you go to the project tab and you install libraries here so you click add library you select the library you want to install let's say this one open and it's already here it's under project libraries and again you can share the project with the others by project packager go here you select the first option Next, next. Now this project is including also the library, but again, it is in other folder. So going next and finishing, you will see that now this sample project, ah, I'm inside the zip, yeah, I'm going outside the zip. Okay, here, it contains again two folders. And um, as I said, to avoid that, um, you should copy the library in the same folder and then this would be without problems. 
Okay, that's about how you can share the project with others and um, avoid copying everything, as I said before. Do not copy the whole project folder because that would just include all the history files and everything that's there and not necessarily needed.